The system of enslaving Africans was an attempt to create a permanent subservient class of people incorporating a strategy to rob them of their identity and humanity. During this process, however, Africans resisted in various ways, not only to maintain parts of their culture, but also to plan and strategize escape. Despite the numerous Africanisms that survived the Middle Passage, there is one that holds more social importance than meets the eye, the game called Owari. What up African world, it's Home Team here and welcome back to another video of African history, culture, and worldview. By supporting this channel on Patreon, you're helping in the creation of these videos and contributing to this content. On Patreon, you can find more in-depth courses on African history. The link to Patreon is in the description box below. Also, stay tuned with the word from my sponsors. Hello, my name is Howard Dorsey. I'm 54 years old. I'm here to talk about my uh, experience with herbal results. Um, I was getting sick, so I, I went to the doctor and they told me that um, my blood pressure was high, my cholesterol was borderline or high, so I was very sick. You know, I thought I was, sometimes I thought I was dying at, at some point. And uh, I ordered a bottle of olive leaf extract. This is, this is how the bottle comes in. And within the first probably week and a half, two weeks, I checked my blood pressure and it was back down to normal. It was like 120 over 80. And my cholesterol went down to uh, 125. You know, I definitely believe that olive leaf extract from Herbal Results saved my life. And I, that's real. I mean, I, 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 and I recommend it to everyone in my family, my friends, and we've seen a lot of results in that, in that manner as well. Purchase now at herbalresults.net. To begin, most of the video is historically backed by documents and oral records. In addition to the data, two scholars have generated a theory based on their analysis and the work of others in the field. Thus, this video will in part be highlighting this theory, so please keep that context in mind. Professors Richard Stoffel and Mamadou Barrow assert that during the enslavement of Africans in the Caribbean, African men achieved some agency by playing an African game known as Awari. In their words, while African men did use this game for recreation, it had the more fundamental social and cultural functions of enabling them to organize themselves illegally and plan for efforts that served their collective purposes. This is no doubt a very intriguing aspect of this period in history. Africans used various forms of resistance, some more successful than others. Aside from getting outright freedom through revolt, some took piecemeal steps in establishing their own agency. So what is this game known as Awari? Awari, universally known as Mankala, is a game whose existence has been documented as early as 1500 BC. It has existed in various forms throughout Africa and Asia. In the African continent, it's known by many different names, such as Gabata, Awari, Sora, Ayo, and others. Melville Herkovitz claims that Awari arrived into the Caribbean during the enslavement of Africans in that region and likely derived specifically from the Ashanti people. So how was the game played? Awari as it is played in Barbados is a Mancala game that goes back at least a few hundred years in Western Africa. It involves a game board or platform, usually made of wood, which contains playing cups and optional game piece holder cups, which are filled with identical counters, commonly pebbles, cowrie shells, or seeds in Barbados known as nigger beans. Two opponents play, often while others watch, kibitz, and wait for their turns. Today. This game is played throughout West Africa and the Caribbean. People in the Caribbean often attribute the game's origins to the West Africans who were brought against their will to work on colonial slave plantations. On the African continent, the game was used for different reasons, but the principle was apparently for male social bonding. It also may have functioned as a way for various ethnic groups in the same vicinity to socially integrate. Given this context, it may help in understanding why the game survived the Middle Passage and continued to exist in the Caribbean. In order to keep enslaved Africans psychologically dependent, colonial authorities had to produce an environment 
that was alien to them as articulated by professors Richard Stoffel and Mamadou Barrow. It's theorized that the game of Owari in part survived to combat this alien environment, creating an atmosphere conducive to social bonding among various African groups who were not familiar with each other's culture, language, or worldview. In essence, the game was a psychological bonding agent to hold values, agency, and identity together. Transferring and establishing African cultural elements and experiences to plantation society would mitigate colonial efforts to create a totally alien environment and a psychologically dependent workforce. Europeans considered the game harmless and not worthy of supervision or concern. Thus, Awari was able to thrive as a tool to reinforce African agency. According to field research, the game of Awari was observed in 14 Caribbean islands. The game was not only recreational, but a foundational way to socially organize groups of African men. There are various elements to this phenomenon that have not matured in the literature or popular interest. Moreover, it is possible that the game was used for other functions we have yet to account for. For example, there are some claims of the game's use for developing escape routes or information gathering on other plantations. However, none of this information seems conclusive or satisfactory. Regardless, it's clear that there is more to discover when it comes to understanding the resistance efforts of African people throughout the Americas. Well, I'm all out, guys. If you like these videos and want to help in its continued production, consider supporting the home team on Patreon.com. The link is in the description box below. Know thyself. Remember your ancestors. Peace. Hey, hey.